looking to become a professional healthcare assistant? Then Therapeutic Hands Management is your training ground. We empower healthcare careers by offering a four-month-long course inclusive of caregiving training program. The courses we offer include Healthcare Assistance or CNA, Palliative Care, Basic First Aid, basic life support and so much more we also offer german language training we are located in westlands nairobi and on kibos road car wash bridge kisumu we also offer online classes all you need is to be 18 years and above and be a high school graduate join us in shaping the future of caregiving to enroll call us now for our nairobi branch call 0722 Five nine zero four five seven or zero seven three three five eight nine six four seven for our Kisumu branch call zero seven three three five eight nine six four three or zero seven two two five seven seven four five seven you can also drop us an email at info at thm.co.ke therapeutic hands management empowering healthcare careers uh, when now he came, I, w- I still had the boyfriend. Yeah. And I remember one day when we were just doing the dates, that boyfriend I asked me for photos. I didn't have a, a phone, a mm-hmm. smartphone, but he had one. So uh, I told him I'll send you the photos through someone's uh, yeah. uh, phone. Now, yeah, yes, awesome. mm-hmm. Then uh, we sent the photos, and that, my boyfriend saw the profile photo. Mm-hmm. Account and it's, it's a, a guy, man, it's yeah. A guy. And he told him, Please take care of her. She is mine. Please take care of her. Take, it, take what, care of her for me. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> it's never. You know, that quote. Mm. But you see, you see, I took care, care, care of her. Care of me. I, I <laughs> took good care of her. I think there was uncommunicated uh, expectations yeah, and all oh, these yes. things. And we never came, to, we didn't learn each other, maybe like love languages. Uh-huh. We are concentrating on, we already have a key. Yes. We need to be stable, we need to look for this. So we forgot yeah. about... And also remember, we are not employed. Oh, yes. So we are also focusing on our business, because now that time he started a business. Mm-hmm. We now we are focusing on the business as well. Yes. So we have babies, we are just Oh, babies, yeah, now number baby two came. Job. Yes, and now... In all this... <laughs> Confusion. So, yeah. so like, yes. Uh, Baby number two still showed up. Yes. Everything. Everything. The kids are on her. Yeah. You know, for me, I get to see the kids in the weekend. weekend. The other time, I'm just alone. I'm free. Mm. So, you actually the one who got so the free. The one who's, who's free than her. Yeah, I was not free. So at in all. short. You left your marriage for freedom. I left. My that is the for reason. Freedom. There's oh, nothing yes. at Ulichapwa. No. There's nothing like infidelity. Not at all. These major reasons we see. No, 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 no. You just wanted your freedom. I just wanted, just wanted you didn't to get. be yeah. alone. I, I, I start didn't life get. alone. I didn't get. Tell me, you called him and told him you want to go back. Welcome back. This is the Roda Kidula Show. Um, yes, first things first. Thank you so much for subscribing to this new channel. We lost the other one. For everyone who's been asking what happened, I have explained until hey, I'm just like, let us now move. So we are actually re-uploading the previous content to this new one. So just be patient. But if there's any episode that you'd want us to upload quicker, let me know so that we'd sort that one first just for you. But thank you so much for the support. We got to um, 2,000 subscribers in, uh, in 10 days, and we are still moving. The other one, we were almost at 70, so I know we can still get there. But uh, since God has still given us this platform, we'll continue sharing positive stories on marriage, family, and relationships. And thank you so much for this far. Thank you for praying with me. Thank you for supporting me. Your words of encouragement as well. And it is still sad that most people who are watching this video haven't subscribed. Really, please subscribe today. Um, Before we start today's conversation, I just want to appreciate JK Studios for the amazing job they do. 
uh, recording and actually videography and photography. So if you're looking for a uh, photographer or videographer, consider JK Studios. Once again, they are very affordable and very efficient. Check them out on uh, social media. Another life update, my daughter turned 17, yay! And this is uh, what Polybex did. They did an amazing 17th birthday cake for my baby girl. And we had an awesome, awesome, awesome time. So if you're a parent, enjoy every season. One day, they will be 17. And they will be going out alone <laughs> without you. <laughs> Yeah, but I thank God I'm still very m much happily married. Almost six years. Way. Wow. It's five years <laughs> and like six months now. Moving, working it out. Is it uh, perfect? No, but very possible. So today I have an amazing, beautiful couple. Karibu Nisana. Thank, thank you for coming. And thank you. Uh, before you even introduce yourselves, I always pray and tell God, bring me the people you want to inspire marriages out here so thank you for reaching out and if you know anyone else who you think we should host on the Roda Kidula show let me know my number is always on the description of the videos Karibuni Asante you look amazing thank, thank you. you so much please introduce yourselves who goes first uh, the shorter version who has a shorter introduction <laughs> or fewer words I can go first <laughs> yes please yeah my name is Tabitha Wairimu Onyego Onyego is my husband here. Mm -hmm. I am, uh, I always like saying I'm an intentional wife, I'm mm -hmm. an intentional mom, and I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Yes. What do you do for a living? I am a business lady. Mm -hmm. I also do digital marketing. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm a hustler. You're a hustler. <laughs> yes. A good hustler. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> the good way. And we will also put links to her business yes. on the description of the video. Yes, yeah, the uh, husband. My name is Enoch, Enoch mm -hmm. Onyego Matundura. So uh -huh. I'm the husband. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, I'm, uh, I do digital marketing. Uh -huh. And also, I'm also a business uh, Man. person. Uh. So you are a biz. We are, we are, are, are kind of doing the same set, thing. Are you self? Uh, I was told there is self employment and there is entrepreneurship. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. We are, I think we it's can say we are. Both. You're both. Yes, we can say we are both. Oh, okay. Because now we are not employed by anyone. Yeah, and mm -hmm. also we we want to we are working towards expanding. We are business. We okay. Are an inter, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Karibuni, thank you. Welcome. I uh, will get to know how you started, who saw who, and how you met. Yes. Uh, I'm really intrigued by a um, summary of what you s you sent me. That you guys were almost done at some point. Oh yeah. yeah. You yeah, even yeah. left <laughs> separated. Yeah, she said. She's I'm the out. one who left. I'm the one who left the house. <laughs> with the children. <laughs> yes, with the kids. I'm the one who packed and and went. I said enough is enough. <laughs> let's go let's let's um what is it called? Rewind. Let's rewind. Let's rewind to where you met. Yeah. Yes, tell us that story. Okay. Uh mm -hmm. We, uh, in, we used to stay at uh, Udiru, uh -huh. uh, Udiru uh, place called uh, Udiru Corporation. Udiru is in Nairobi. Y yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it in, so in Kiambu? Oh, in Kiambu, ah. Kiambu County, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. in Udiru, there's a place called Corporation. Yes. So uh, we used to live in the same, you know, they call it Ploti. Uh -huh, the same so, apartment. Okay. Not really, not, not really apartments. Apartment. They are not oh, there's apartments. a difference between the plot yeah, and the plot. Yeah. <laughs> Please take <laughs> notes, sorry. I'll call my plot. Okay, they yeah, were in... Yeah. Yeah. And now you know those where they are not, the, the building are not rising. Mm. Yeah. Not, uh, as mm -hmm. the end, did you? Yeah. They just... Uh, First you know, floor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, when I call, like, on the other far end, mm -hmm. I sit like, on the other far end. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, initially, I, I never, I was, I never noticed that. To mm -hmm. report to Koapo, but me, I never knew You're that there was a girl uh -huh. <laughs> there. So, uh, but uh, when I joined uh, college, initially when I joined college 2014, mm -hmm. I think I, I also she was uh, at Kwana Maliza Shule uh -huh. High School. Oh, As high school. I'm she used to stay there with her parents. Yes, yes, yes. and him. me and the parents. Ah, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm old. <laughs> we are thinking these people are staying in, in this plot. No, yeah. not working. Not we are working. Working. kids. That's when we were kids. kids. We are yes, kids we are kids. Uh huh. Yeah. I I had finished high school. Don't even go Mount Kenya University okay. 2014. Okay. So the year 2014, she was there. Yeah. But now she was in school, and okay. I, I had not noticed. 
Uh, I was in all. high school. Oh, yeah. you were in high, high school. school. Yes. Yeah. You were not even supposed to notice her. Actually, I think it was God. <laughs> yeah, and again, now since I was in boarding school, oh, we yeah. couldn't have seen me yeah, as yeah. much. Yeah. So she was yeah. on and off. Uh-huh. And me, you know, I'm in 2014 yeah. uh, university. I need to focus. You know, when you get to university yes. first year, you are with these ambitions and you want to focus. You want to make everything right. Yes. So I didn't have time for, you know, yeah, checking, girls checking. For girls. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like you. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, so I'm saying it's God I didn't notice that at that time. Uh-huh. So 2015, deck. Yeah. So now I'm seeing, I'm, I started to, you know, I was easy. I, I was easy now, you know, Nisha, mm-hmm. Nisha, you were you how this thing works, yeah. the university and everything. So uh-huh. 2015, December, I'm passing. I'm passing up in the yeah. I'm like there's a girl washing clothes. Uh-huh. Apple, apple, apple material. And I'm yeah. like, I, I've never <laughs> seen this girl. Where, where have I been? Yeah. So I, I was attracted. Mm-hmm. So I said, I'll have to check her out later yeah. when she's easy. Personally, I used to see him, uh-huh. but now I, I just thought he's a, <coughs> he's a family man. He was, he was, he was, he's ever serious, you know. Oh, he, yeah, like, I, was very, yeah, very I was very serious. Yeah, he was very serious. And, then and you has, said he's an SDA guy. Oh, yeah. And SDA so guys are very serious. He yeah, never yeah, you have any to. form of distraction from mm-hmm. the main things. Yeah. And now he has beard. So I thought actually he is. A family guy, and I'm yeah. like, oh, this guy is so passionate with his family. He doesn't mm. want to say hi to girls. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I, yeah. But I used to see him, but he never used to notice me at all. At yeah. All, at all. Yeah. But now in 2015, when I was done with high school, you know, now I'm frequently washing clothes. Yeah, you're home. You know, getting water. Now, you remember you said it's bloody. Bloody. So yeah. we are doing everything outside. Outside. Including the toilets. The, the outside. Okay. I don't know whether you know Udiru, but most I of know the houses, Udiru. yeah, most of the houses are, yeah. at that time, yeah, they were not this uh, <coughs> mm-hmm. in the apartments. Advanced, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So uh, I I see her then. Uh, so the next I say, let me find find a way to put her name mm-hmm. up. So I, I I I went. There's a time I went to look for water. Yes. You know, sometimes water is not in the plot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I go to look for these guys who they who push carts. Yeah. They they sell water. Yeah. So when I'm on the road, uh, I see her mm-hmm. coming. I don't know if she was coming from shop or yeah. somewhere. Yeah, I was coming. So from I shop. decided I, I have to say hi yes. and ask for a number. So I said hi, and, uh, and I was so shocked. And I asked I was for like, for the number. Finally, this guy is saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> what has happened? Is he divorced or oh. what? <laughs> Why is he saying hi how, to me How today? was he dressing to look like a married man? He was ever neat, uh, official, uh-huh. oh. you know, carrying a, a bag. Yeah. He was ever serious. Serious. He, oh, you know, as a girl and as a young girl, it's not yeah. uh, normal for yes. a guy to just go past you two, three days without saying, hey, hi, Sasa. Mm-hmm. But this one was, like, I, I for one, a period of one year, <laughs> he was not oh. saying hi, he was not talking to me. I don't know what happened that day. That day, and he, he said hi. You must know those the the, the, <laughs> the period and the one year. For yeah. me, I didn't see her. I cannot see an instant where I have seen her. It shocked hey. me when I hear so that. Even when I, when I I sit back and I try to reflect, you don't remember her. I don't see her anywhere. In those okay. Years. So when yeah. he said hi, let's move. Yeah, I said hi. Uh-huh. Then you know uh, the next blah blah blah. Then I got the number. Ah. So I said because I may not be getting uh, this much, I better get the number mm-hmm. and just you know. So the number, Nini chatting, talking, Nini. Mm-hmm. Then kido kidogo, we are we are starting to have this uh, you know kutoka to kutembe hang out, hang out, out around. Together. Yeah. Evening date, walk, kind of. yeah. <laughs> it's like a date, but yes. it's not a date. Mm. It's just the walk. But you're getting around. to know each other. Yeah, we're just getting to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah we uh-huh. say that. At I that particular maybe... time, I was yeah. dating uh, a guy. Oh, yeah. I was. I was this high schooler who is. Yes. So, yeah, but those I... ones who know a lot. Oh yeah. So <laughs> even after high school. <laughs> And you have said yes. Yeah, because I know myself very well. <laughs> yeah, so after high school, I was yeah. like, ah, finally. Yeah. I'm now out. So I had a boyfriend then. Mm-hmm. And uh, when now he came, I, w- I still had the boyfriend. Yeah. And I remember one day when we were just doing the dates, that boyfriend uh, asked me for photos. I didn't have a, a phone, a mm-hmm. smartphone, but he had one. So uh, I told him I'll send you the photos through someone's uh, yeah. uh, phone. Now, yeah, okay, Sasa. Mm-hmm. Then uh, we sent the photos, and that, my boyfriend saw the profile photo. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, a man, yeah. it's a guy. And he told him, 
please take care of her. She is mine. Please take care of her. Take, it, That's take what, care of her for me. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> it's but, never. You know, that could. <laughs> but you see, you see, I took <laughs> care, care of her. Care of I, oh I, I took good care of her. So the rest We is, are very uh, sorry. The rest yeah. is history. I'm talking to your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But, mm-hmm. So that's how you guys met yeah. and yeah. knew each other. How, mm. When did you make it official that you are now boyfriend or girlfriend or husband and wife? Uh, all right. I think mm. for us, because uh, it was uh, very... We were not really mature or planning to get married yeah. or planning to settle. We, we, we are just trying to figure trying things to out. Figure. Yeah. Now, remember, I'm out of school. He's in third year. Yeah. Second, second year or third year. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were just dating and after like three months, or uh, that was in 20, we met in 2015, DEC. Mm-hmm. After like three months, four months, I moved out from my parents' house yeah. due to, you know, uh, unavailable circumstances. Yeah. I went to my bro's place. Okay. Then after a short period, I got a house. Uh-huh. And I moved out now, living my own now. You've just done high school. Oh, yeah. yeah You're yeah. not going to college, whatever? No, no, no. 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 I was okay. just hustling in there. Trying okay. to, I worked in a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Now I just wanted I just wanted to be independent okay. and to just start my life. Uh-huh. And uh, now he could come frequently visit my house mm-hmm. so we can have good I time see. oh yeah <laughs> i'm visiting a girl's house and i don't have my house yeah he, he's still no. at his parents house no oh yeah yeah he's still at his parents house <laughs> hey, we are judging you yeah. we are judging you right now <laughs> so for me i am now out there and yeah. having a house and yes. everything so he used to come and is that mid east of all that dating and hanging mm-hmm. out and good times yeah I got pregnant. You got pregnant. Like mm. in a period of four, four months. Four months after the high? Yes, four hey, months of the Buddha. high. <laughs> <laughs> Our eyes are on you. Our eyes are on you. And I was you, 20, actually. You were 20? Yes, we just, met when she, she was, was 19. 19. Mm. I think she was almost Turning getting 20. to 20. Yeah. Now when yeah. she turns 20, then uh, she was pregnant. after us going here and there, she yeah. became pregnant. Yeah, so I, after four months, we can say, yeah, yeah we... We found ourselves being parents and young parents. It was yeah. we met when he was twenty three, just uh-huh. about to turn twenty four. Yeah, mm-hmm. actually you were still at twenty three because our age was earlier, early twenty three. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so we became parents, and that's how we got oh, married. We got married. Yeah. <laughs> So, actually, so she got, wait, did you move in? So what happened? No, uh-huh. I didn't move in. Uh-huh. So before she got pregnant, yeah. I, already, I also moved out oh. from my parents' place. Okay. You know, I said, hey, yeah, that I'm in, yeah. I mean, I need now to get my place. Yes. So I moved out. Uh, but now for me, I moved out around Uziru. Oh, okay. She went to uh, Ongatarongai, oh, where okay. the, the brother lived. Oh, okay. So when I moved out, uh, a few days, she could come visit. Mm-hmm. So in that period, is when the pregnancy happened. Yes. We don't know where it happened we, exactly. We're not sure whether it, it was in Rome. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know, but it's somewhere there. It's somewhere in Kenya. There. It's a Kenyan yeah. city. Yeah, it's a yeah. Kenyan city. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> she came and told me, yeah, but then I feel like uh, something has happened. Yeah. So initially I was like, are you sure? Are you sure something happened? Mm-hmm. I said, uh, you do do the test. The, the test. Then the test came down. I came was out pregnant. Positive. Pregnant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, initially it was a shock. Uh, the, you know the way you are sounding? You sound like you're so happy you're pregnant. And you sound like you're so proud she was pregnant. Is it because it's, is it eight years later or seven years later? Mm-hmm. Or were you also happy when you realized? Okay, to us, yeah. I don't know what, uh, what exactly was going on, mm-hmm. but we were not really it was shocked or disappointed. Really? Yeah. We don't have money yet. We are not well yeah. in, high, in uni. Yeah. I'm also not doing well financially yeah. Yeah, with my hustles and there. Yeah. But we we are just. It has happened. It has happened. We just have to. We didn't regret anything. Oh. I, I think I think what I'll say. Yeah. It's because for me when I met her, mm. I had already felt like I can move on with this girl. She's the yeah. one she's, we are she's, going. She's, she's okay, and way. I think which, whichever happens, yeah, it's okay to move on with this one. Yeah. So yeah. my mind had already love. started making uh-huh. up like. This is the girl for you, because mm-hmm. uh, you know when I met her, the way she was carrying herself, everything, uh-huh. everything, they ticked my boxes. Okay. Her wife so, material. Yeah, wife material. They, 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 actually, <laughs> we saw her to, washing to be, clothes and yeah, knew she's the one. I was looking <laughs> for her wife material. <laughs> yeah. So uh, 
the, all the things she was doing, the was not tick the boxes. Now I have so many questions. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. you are 23. Yes, yes. yes. Do 23 year old men are they looking for wife material? You see, for me, uh -huh. I had a, a different, <laughs> I had a different uh, opinion oh, okay. about dating. Oh, okay. I was not dating for fun. Okay. I was even if, if I'm dating you. I'm looking forward to. Wife, Remember, I told you, know? you he looked so serious. Yeah, he was already married. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so I I'm not, not like testing a what, some, yeah. some waters here, and I'm testing, trying to see uh -uh. something at the other, like to see what is uh -huh. what. Yeah. So I can't. I cannot come to you if I don't see what I want in you. Oh, okay. So true. I already saw things that I wanted. In yeah. Her. And it's so the same, yeah. Because for me, even mm -hmm. though I was in high school, I'm naturally mature. Uh -huh. Actually, most people doubt my age when I she tell was. them I'm, 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 I'm about to turn 28. Yeah, but I now, was like... Ah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most mm. people think I am older because mm -hmm. I'm, I matured very yeah, fast. Yeah, she, uh -huh. she was mature. So also for me, I was not looking for fun. And yeah. I was looking for a boyfriend we can just settle and go and be my husband. Okay. So I think we ju God just made us meet, meet the right people. Yeah, and we are just the right Were people for each other. Were you spiritual or saved or born again or what? Whatever. Were you close with God we, at that point? We were spiritual. We yeah. cannot say literally we were this churchy, uh -huh. uh, you know, mm -hmm. active. Yeah. But we were very spiritual. We mm -hmm. were, I was praying for a good man. Yeah. I was praying, I want a good family. In mm -hmm. fact, I was saying I want to get married in a white wedding. And uh -huh. Yeah, I don't so know. That's, that's where <laughs> I am at. Yeah. Mm. Now, didn't you, did you ever feel like, hey God, me, I want to do it th this way? But now the flesh happened and everything happened. Mm. Yeah, yeah. For uh -huh. me, I was for. I was telling him I don't want anything before yeah. marriage. Yeah. I want us to wait and to wait. Till. Yeah. But now I think hey, actually, you know, I mean, it was the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, even when uh, we we started now interact mm -hmm. very much, I had even invited her to our church. Yeah. Oh. We could go to the church Saturday. Yeah. You know, we are going. So preparing even people in mind yeah. like, hey, yeah, I have something. <laughs> orientation kind so of. So like something you and my parents were saying, well, when I'm not, is now. Yeah. This one is bringing someone yeah. to the church. Uh -huh. But now, in between, that happened. Yeah. But you know, now once it has happened, mm. you know, it's already... It has happened. Yeah, it has I, happened. Think, yeah. I think we didn't have proper guidance on, mm -hmm. okay, like for me, especially after high school, mm -hmm. I was not, I didn't have people to really tell me this how things are done you should yeah. at least settle down we were figuring things together by, yes together alone. and trying to mm. define life yeah, uh -huh. by our own ways uh -huh. so we defined it and we found ourselves we found ourselves <laughs> married after four months of the high yeah and now you moved four to back months. to Udiru. Yes. Yeah, so once she told me she was pregnant, of mm. course there was some shock within me. Yeah. You know, already I'm not this well enough to take care of a baby and yeah. a family and all those. So initially I was shocked, Kidogo. But I was like, okay, it's okay. Uh, I think, I believe it's mine. I don't think... <laughs> Not doubting ah. I'm not doubting. I was not really <laughs> doubting her that, it is that, that, it's, that knows. is something different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for me, actually, I believed her. Yeah. I yeah. never, I, do, you, do you remember? I never questioned. Oh, yeah. yeah. I never yeah. Started, are you sure I it's I, mine? Mm. Are you sure that this is, can we, you know, and start yeah, all those? I, I didn't. Uh -huh. So I believed her and that was it. So I uh -huh. told her, I think you can just move in. And this guy is so caring because when I got pregnant, mm. yeah, with the first week, I think I confirmed the pregnancy after like two uh, like six weeks mm -hmm. he was so caring he was telling me don't wash the dishes i'll come ah, wash six the weeks. dishes yeah, yeah. I, 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 and, I, and I don't know why he thought I was. I don't know. I, I think uh, I, I don't something. <laughs> but I he really, <laughs> he didn't have experience. I took, I took it as a lot of like it is someone who's very sick. sick. Like, it, yeah, you know? it's a sickness. So I didn't want to, uh, you know, there's a baby and uh, you know I don't want them to get sick. any anything uh -huh. that can, can cause complication or something. Mm. So I was like, I want to care to care of them, you know. Wow. So I didn't have. Yeah, you want them tell to me, mm -hmm. do the dishes. Mm -hmm. Just so rest. she was just there, and uh, <laughs> in this now the let's uh, we are pregnant and the baby comes mm -hmm. in this first year of this marriage, we have to put it in quotes yes mm. because there's nothing official. Oh, yeah. You moved in, yeah. Yeah. got married. Mm. What are your parents saying? Well, b uh, when I was pregnant, we officially communicated yeah. to our parents uh -huh. that I'm pregnant for him, mm -hmm. and you also communicated yeah. to his parents, and they just. They didn't have any issue. 
of course there was issue like the tribal issue because uh, oh, yeah. he, he, he is a kisima and a kikuyu woman they was like are you sure okay like in what our families what are you scared about kisses uh, uh, this stereotyping in Kenya about mm-hmm. I think what happened we he is the first guy in his family to get married to a different community oh yeah and I'm also the first person uh-huh. to bring a different community in the family so okay. there was that shock Yeah. Will this work? You mm-hmm. know, we hear this and that. You know, yeah. now the typical people with mm-hmm. uh, the thoughts of yeah. Um, plus Safanya. again, like yeah. you know, like you know, for me, yeah. Uh, once uh, you know, I I called my dad. Yeah. Told me we need to meet. I need to talk to you. Yes. <laughs> hey, you should have recorded that phone call. <laughs> so I called him. I've never done that. Yeah. So I was like, well, I don't know how he will take it. Yes. So we met because I knew he's a church person. Mm-hmm. You know, he does one shortcuts and yes. all this. Yes. So I called him. I had some few coins, bought him a drink, soda. We had and yeah. we talked. Told him by then, you know, this girl I've been bringing her to church. Blah yeah. blah blah. Yes, this I know in Gambia. I think I, uh, I've. You know, I've done something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. I've done something, and uh, I just want to be responsible for it. Yeah. And I just want to move forward yeah. and just, you know, uh, let her move in, and we, you know, we start uh, life take, together. Uh, take mm-hmm. care of this. Yeah, so that's very really responsible of you. Yeah. So initially, it was a shock to him mm-hmm. because uh, you remember I was a serious person. Mm-hmm. Yes. And he's still in school. And I was in school. I, in I'm uni. trying to hustle up and up and to come my own. Yeah. You know? Um, I'm also pay, I'm, I'm the one paying my rent and all this and all this and all these yeah. things. But now I see it in the stable, it yes. I'm in job. So it was a shock to him. And the fact that previously I had not shown them any signs of that. Oh, even you yeah. <laughs> These quiet people. <laughs> These quiet people. <laughs> <laughs> so there was no sign yeah. of girls. Yeah. Yeah, but now uh, he was uh, uh, man enough to you know and uh, talk understand. to me, mm-hmm. understand. Mm-hmm. Told me, are you sure? You know, I wanted you guys to do a wedding. Yes. But I told now this one has happened. happened. I have to be responsible for it. Oh. Probably can arrange those things later. Later. On, yeah. Uh, so there were you, there were there kind were no enough to just uh, accept it, and there was no drama. I and they didn't. Sorry, yeah. he didn't have an issue with the Kikuyu. Uh, of course, initially, could not like. You, are, are you sure, sure with these people Mkikuyu. from the other side? Yeah. Are you sure? You know, we have this stereotyping. Yes. You know, it's it's there. It's normal. Mm-hmm. It's normal, yeah, and you know, uh-huh. people have it. Yeah. Okay. So, are you sure, Nini? I told him. I think for me, I've I have like I I am sure. I'm yeah. okay with it. I always so, say our meeting was very divine because, mm-hmm. as you've asked about family members, yeah. our parents, there were no friction. You mm-hmm. know. We have never had issues with our parents yeah. not accepting us. The fact that we, we, I got pregnant young. The fact that she, you know, impregnated a girl still in uni. Yes. There was no conflict. <coughs> they mm-hmm. were just okay. It's it okay. has happened. You just figure out, you know, work things out. Mm-hmm. Raise your child. Yeah, and that's wow. it. But there were no. We have never had major issues, issues with the family. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know. there wasn't any drama or whatever. Actually, mm-hmm. even uh, after she got pregnant, we continued going to church. With the pregnancy, yes, and people could see she's pregnant. Yeah, um, we didn't judge you. And other people, maybe, maybe someone silent. could have yeah, judged silent. silent. But no one came. <laughs> but we, no one came and told us, you know, you should not do that. Uh, Why are you here? Uh, hide <laughs> until yeah, you know. No, that one already communicated that my parents were yeah. okay with yes. it. They didn't feel you know this ah, uh, funny yeah. about it. It was just a divine kind of. I don't know. So you, from the time you met, I see people who are mature, who are understanding. Who are now ready to raise a child? Who are responsible? So when did the rain start beating you? Um, I think what happened when when we I got pregnant and we settled down. You yeah. remember we are not prepared yes. that this is marriage, and this now you are living with someone, mm-hmm. and you just have to be mindful of him and you know do that. We are not prepared. We are just settling down. And starting up on responsibilities. Yeah. Now, yeah. Things are going so fast. We are uh-huh. figuring out. There are things have been hurried. Like yeah. we are figuring how we're gonna raise our child. Yes. After this pregnancy, now I mean after nine months, how mm-hmm. will this baby come out? So we are 
constantly working towards uh, getting money. Yes. We are not talking about marriage. We are not talking about uh, love. love. Yeah, we are, there was this, I think there was this assumption, like, you know, see, we have a baby. We are yeah. okay. You love me. Is, I love I you. I love you. Let's now move. Let's now move. Yes. move. Mm-hmm. Like, let's do other, yeah. other, other things. So yeah. we really worked on the other thing of uh, uh, maybe getting something for for us to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the business, hustles, and there and whatever. So we got into these things. And Sam. still remember, he's still in uni. So he's mm-hmm. trying to figure out how to finish. Yes. So that now he focuses on raising us. Way. So it was everything was happening fast. so quickly. So fast, yeah. To our next now, we are not focusing on ourselves. We yeah. are just focusing on finish campus. Trying to survive. Now come and yeah. the, we get money now. How, how are we going to pay the rent next yes. month? So we, after, uh, for that period, like uh, our firstborn, I think for the first two years, we were constantly worried about our lives now, uh-huh, financially. Financially. Because now we just have to survive, we just mm-hmm. have to pay bills. Yes, so you lost touch. Yeah, that, there was, mm-hmm. there was. I think there was uncommunicated uh, expectations yeah, and all oh, these yes. things. And we never came, to, we didn't learn each other, maybe like love languages uh-huh. and all this and all, what she wants, what I want. Yeah. And all those were not, they were mm-hmm. not there. Yeah. There was this thing like, you already have my baby. I'm yes, already yeah. here living with you and we are doing this. Yes. So you already love me and mm-hmm. that's okay. Yeah. So we the other things... <laughs> We are not concentrating. We are uh-huh. concentrating on, we already have a kid. Yes. We need to be stable. We need to look for this. So we forgot yeah. about... And also remember, we are not employed. Oh, yes. So we are also focusing on our business because now that time he started a business. Mm-hmm. We now we are focusing on the business as well. Yes. So we have babies. We are just technically... Oh, babies. Yeah, now number two job. came. Yes, and now... In all this... <laughs> Confusion. So, yeah. so like, yes. uh, Baby number two still showed up. Yes, and also the job is still young, so yeah. we are trying to nurture it. Uh, you know, when you are starting a business, I don't know whether you have that experience, mm-hmm. whereby the first few years you are constantly worried. Yes. You need to mm-hmm. Now, what will I do if I don't get money to pay my bills? Yes. So we were worried about our baby and also our baby, which is the business. So uh-huh. we are raising babies. Yes, we are oh, just, our life so is just, everything is starting, everything <laughs> yes. is starting. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, it's like, it's not like when you go <clears throat> at home and you sleep knowing that tomorrow when you wake up, there's already a job and you come back home, home and you sleep. And, and, and focus on mm-hmm. the family. You know, it was not like that. Yeah. Surviving was the biggest concern at that time. A new uh, business and a new baby. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know, initially it was yeah. not even business. Yeah. yeah. The things that we were doing initially, you yeah. couldn't call them like a really business. business. It was surviving. Uh, we got uh, initially I got into network marketing uh-huh. when I was in the attachment, uh-huh. and you know, and she also got into it. Yeah. So we used to sell these wellness products oh, and whatever. Yeah. We post on Facebook, talk to people. Oh, you, know? Yeah. you know, so yes, you are not. Lot. Yeah. So so you are worried about your, where you're gonna get your next order from. Oh, yes. So it was not guaranteed. So that period was scary. Mm-hmm. So we couldn't, we didn't have ma- much time to think about, mm-hmm. you know, talk about now. No, we are starting a family. Yeah. How we gonna do this? You know, understanding so many stuffs. Mm-hmm. So we were worried about our next. You Move know, pay rent, next, pay meal, yeah. meal, and whatever. Yeah. And you remember, uh, we have. Uh, um, I'm a kujaka ishikwango. Yeah. Napo, I'm not supported by anybody. Your parents, your no, dad, who No, no, actually, I remember okay? when I was in attachment, yeah. I had to get money for attachment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so you're educating yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so it was, uh, you know, it that was constant, constant, uh, uh, you know, worries yes. about uh, the surviving bills. and yeah. bills and mm. those and those. The bills so, after bills after bills. But uh, I, 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 I always say that uh, I, I thank her that mm-hmm. she was, uh, uh, she got, the courage to trust me that oh, I yeah. take care of her yeah. and you know you know she's just there not knowing what I'm gonna do yes. to, to get the next uh, rent or the next thing but she had she, faith in me that there. I think you're gonna take care of this I think we were in love but we were not aware that we are in, totally we love each other you understand oh. like there, it was not a problem that uh, uh, he's struggling financially it's not uh-huh. a problem because already we love each other only that we are not these bills, these responsibilities are, mm-hmm. are distracting us. I've taken over. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. But we, I just trusted him. I, I could see potential in him. Mm-hmm. I can know this guy cannot make us, you know, sleep hungry. Yes. So there was just that trust that uh, we, we might be struggling now. Mm-hmm. 
but maybe in the next few and now remember he is in uni and I have not gone to uni oh, yes. so I'm seeing him like my superman you know yes <laughs> my hey, role model he has good like, university yeah so I'm expecting after this <laughs> yeah there's a job yeah, there's a job and yeah, yeah, yeah uh-huh. so. Yeah so uh yeah, f- fast forward to 2016 7 2017 2017 I think uh, uh mid 2017 yeah. is when I started to have this thing I got into digital marketing uh-huh. then I started to understand social media uh-huh. ads and those and those then from there we, I started to build a business around it. and actually okay. now 2017 is the time we, we uh, our first born was born so she, oh, he, yeah he was yes. born when I'm uh, now even starting a business remember we met him. wait yes. this baby after four months this is in 2016 pregnancy. yeah this is oh, pregnancy okay, okay. in 2016 so uh, our okay. son was born in august 2017 mm. okay. so the pregnancy came in in 2016 okay. remember we met uh, deck actually 2014 2015, 2015 oh december 20, oh, now i get it 23rd of deck i ah, remember, remember the day he got my Christmas. number <laughs> yeah so uh, our first one was born in 2017 yeah and now that's when he uh, after we've seen network marketing is not really working out yeah. uh, well but we noticed whenever we post on social media we are getting orders yeah. then social media was so good with mm-hmm. products and you everything. can get organic order yeah. organic orders well, yeah. you know and that so and we that. thought like ah uh, he thought not me mm-hmm. <laughs> he was one who was, who was our pioneer and everything yes and now he got a friend who was doing the same but now more into digital social media marketing yeah. and he learned about it and now they started working together oh, with the same nice. guy ah. so that helped with the pregnancy i got the, the baby. baby through cs uh-huh. so he was able to pay my bills i was mm-hmm. so shocked like he <laughs> i remember that time the bill was around 110k he paid oh and uh, we uh, he graduated when i was 8 months pregnant yeah hey, so we went to graduation yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. graduation i don't think i'm not like in graduation they <laughs> I keep forgetting he's in Kampo. Uh, yes, uh, he's uh, in Kampo. Where? <laughs> yes, he uh, graduated uh, when I was heavily pregnant. Eh. Ni kidogo tu mtoto taona graduation. He would have arrived on graduation. Oh yeah, yeah. Where? So the baby is here, you're still trying to figure out marriage and all that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah so we started a, a business with a, with that friend of mine. Mm-hmm. We went to went to went. We we actually did well. We even mm-hmm. got in, we employed some people oh, nice. fast for 2018 but when got 2018 mid things were not moving Good. the way we planned and yeah. you know you know with the social media is the way when you start it's a boom yes. it's like you know you hit it running running mm-hmm. running running but then maybe i think there were some financial decisions that mm-hmm. we didn't cal- calculate so okay. that didn't work out well yeah then so, and after a short period of that i got pregnant again, again for the second, second born. born yeah wait with all this that is happening yeah. you're not thinking of family planning uh, actually that was the midst of me thinking yeah. uh, actually she pregnant. had she had, I had a, 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 oh, yeah. a family planning oh yeah i yeah. had but she it was had, not working had. well for me i was, was bleeding oh. a lot so i had to stay to not with it. Uh-huh. yeah now in that car i think i'm very fertile <laughs> <laughs> in that ka window yes, yes just yes. that ka window. window to a little mm-hmm. baby number 2 baby number 2 right yeah. Yeah. yeah wow so again more going responsibility you know and, and the business is not doing well the business is not doing well the, we have a toddler now yes and, and pre- another one, one. Yes. yes yes so constantly our first years we are just raising Kids. things and people yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah yeah humans oh yeah yeah so after our second born mm-hmm. and after she turned to to now when uh, she's kind of independent remember yeah. i'm still a baby raising babies yes so but uh, there are things i skipped you know i'm not able to to i'm still like a girl yes. you know i'm still a, but with responsibilities mm-hmm. but now when our second born turned to i mm-hmm. think i just started feeling the freedom you know yeah. you know the second baby is easier than the first one mm-hmm. and now you are able to move around without you over worrying about yeah. the baby mm-hmm. like the first baby you are ever worried about Uh, let me go back home Ali, you know yeah. the second born ah it's easy it's i've easy. done this yeah, yeah. you know mm-hmm. you know what happened 
after now the other first business went the way it went mm -hmm. uh, you know I had I had to start all over again okay. now on myself mm -hmm. so when I started on myself I get I used the same blueprint but now differently mm -hmm. so things got easier now things started getting easier yeah you know uh you know at least we know how to take care of the babies yeah. we are not so much worried, worried. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know we have already learned lessons on these things yeah so we are like uh, we are not worried that much about the babies okay. and we things are, now yes. we are hardening we are kind of things are, Why is that? Yeah. things are again now <laughs> flowing at least we we are we already have this thing we are waking up to every day yeah right? you know job job wise mm -hmm. so in the midst of that i think uh, now freedom we can yeah. We, again now we unemployed some people again oh, okay so we are not, we are not so much into, into the businesses you know, ourselves mm -hmm. oh, okay yeah now we are realizing like now we have time yes you know, we have time for each other and yeah. now the reality now starts oh the reality I mean. marriage reality hit oh, you oh yeah we now you're three like, years into marriage yes mm. yes so what was this reality reality is like uh you notice higher yeah, who was married Oh. This was not, it yeah. was not just pain bees and this yeah. is marriage. No, we are this two is children. Yes. No, for me, like for me now, I'm starting to demand more. As oh, yeah, man. Like, you know, you know, I want you to be home. I want you to see this. You know, yeah. I'm, no, I'm starting to notice I have a wife and I have to, you know, have children. to demand some things. And yes. maybe, maybe I'm demanding more of her time and maybe she also missed. No, she was to 1920. Yeah. She missed this That's that thing of stage of yeah. going out with friends, friends and have yeah. coffee. And have coffee. Yeah. So that missed. So and for me, I want to go out more. Yeah. He wants me more. Because now, remember, I, I, I skipped like a stage. Yes. So I'm trying to catch up with friends. Mm -hmm. He's telling me, where are you? I'm like, Man, you listen yeah, you know, why? Uh, you shouldn't ask me. As who? Uh, yeah, again <laughs> now, I'm free from kids. Remember, responsibility for children, yes. mainly, is for women. Yeah. So I was constantly taking care of the kids. Now I'm kind of feeling free now. I'm no, free from you know, you know, you a corner house girl. Oh, you have a house girl. Yeah. There. Yeah. 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 So she has all the freedom to move to wherever yeah. you want. Call my sister and tell her, oh, copy, you know, I'm we have lunch. Yeah, so reality now, Oh, mm -hmm. we we are, we are not just life partners, or I mean, like uh, friends, friends, colleagues. This no, was this, this was marriage. marriage. Yeah. And now that's when our friction started. started. When now everything is kind of settled, mm -hmm. and now the truth that we need to be. This is my husband. Yes. I think for the first years, I never used to call him even my husband because. What are we? Yeah, doing? what are we? We we got pregnant and moved in. Yeah, we, we didn't even have time to I think about husband. husband and yeah, wife. wife. So we, we we were more of like uh, we are friends. We are, love, we are you know we are there. You know? <laughs> we are just my there. person. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> that's where we were. Yeah. So with with all this that is coming in, mm -hmm. so you see there's a lot of. You know now confusion of kuvuruta na kido so for me I'm, i want her more now because initially i wasn't f looking for her yes. and you know in that time there are th things i couldn't say to her mm -hmm. maybe i wouldn't notice how she looks i yeah. couldn't notice like yeah. you know n now she's going out remember yeah. maybe she's not uh, other people are noticing these things maybe now yeah. they are telling her yeah. and oh. for me all these years <laughs> You've I've been, been hustling. I've been on my other things. Yeah, so I don't yeah. even remember telling her, oh, <laughs> oh you, you look, look nice. Life in. Let's go out. Let's do this. Uh -huh. oh, you, are, you know, we didn't do that. Yeah, oh, and then... Oh. So you were getting that attention from other people? I was getting that attention. Mm -hmm. And also he was unable to... Now, uh, he couldn't tell me I look good. But when I go out there, people say, hey, you look good. Mm -hmm. It's not that he doesn't see that I look good. Only that he's unable to express it Himself. to me. I think I was, I was assuming. Yeah, I, I was, was like, you know, see, I've taken look. you in. I'm yeah, taking you the video. I'm taking care of you guys. Yeah. So you should notice that that one enough. That is enough. I'm enough. taking care of you uh, That is yeah. okay. I've, yeah. You know. I don't have to validate other, you know, mm -hmm. Small, small issues so i started having a problem now when i go maybe uh, we have lunch <coughs> with my sister and then mm -hmm. it takes long he is constantly calling me mm -hmm. and i'm wondering why is this man calling me i i thought he doesn't love me he doesn't tell yeah. me I look good. he doesn't uh -huh. you know then he still wants to be with me mm -hmm. so that kind of was pushing me away and feel, uh, that was making me feel like i'm a marriage was not meant for me oh I'm yeah a, 
yeah. this is not the right man for me. Yeah, this is kind of mistake. Mm-hmm. And uh, how comes he doesn't see that I'm good? Yeah. How comes he doesn't see I look good? Yeah. Other people see that I look good. Mm-hmm. So now I started doubting him again. I'm like, mm. you know what happened also after now she got the freedom of like no no kids, no much of business, many many things are take being taken care of. Mm-hmm. She also now realized herself. Now oh, she's, yeah. she's 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 changing. She's been working out. She's mm-hmm. changing her looks and all this and all oh, this. Yeah. So things are oh. things are changing. She you know? started looking good. <laughs> and I also are, and I also opened my business. So uh, I'm so you know I she's becoming some independence. Oh man, yeah. You know, in between we. we <laughs> this was my a day. high school girl. Yeah, yes. yeah, she was, was a... washing clothes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, I remember. Don't uh, forget. Now I'm going to get some independence. Independence, yeah. some money. Yes, because we started uh, after we started the business. Mm-hmm. I told you that now I was running as mine. We started yeah. with her. Yes. But in between, I realized it's good she does something of her own. Her own. So again, we started something for her. Okay. <laughs> Is it so, true that women change when they get money? Don't look at me. Uh, <laughs> uh, what I'll say, uh, not change. Uh-huh. I think uh, it's it's that uh, if they when, when now they get this independence of maybe now I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I think there's that thing like maybe you, you the other person and Asaulika that maybe is in the picture. Uh-huh. Uh, like now, but uh, you know when you are being done things. That mm-hmm. you are, are, are unable to do, the, you become you come become like I don't know she will be just independent to the other uh-huh. person. But now say we you meet who you kwa kufanya fanya i and i and i. So uh, I think it's more of it's more of the uh, kama when you have a kid when mm-hmm. you are taking care of a kid and then the kid another kujua responsibilities yes. that he has to take care of these responsibilities mm-hmm. peke yake. Yeah. So when when they do that. You are neglected. You are yes. neglected. Mm-hmm. So that's when you feel maybe maybe it's changing. No, oh, yeah. Probably it's not just changing. It's only that now she's able to do that yes. on her own and is not depending yeah, on you. De- depending on you. Yeah. And now you see us men, yeah. we get validation by doing things so, yeah. for people and you know for women. You know, for, yeah. yeah. So if I, I I I cannot do something for you and it feels. Maybe Rona now is you sorting feel. herself out. She doesn't need me. Oh yeah, it's a kind of a threat. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we like doing things for the validation to Napata from doing things. Doing for, things. For, 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 Taking for the care other. of the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you prefer a woman who is just there, depending on you for everything, mm. or this one who is trying to also hustle and help out? Uh, I think for me, I'll I'll go for the one who is hustling. Oh. Because again. Uh, you know, this life does not surround on me. Yes. Peke yangu. Mm-hmm. And at some point, you know, things happen. You know, I mean, I may never be there every time to take care of these things. Mm-hmm. But if you have your own independence, mm-hmm. at least you can be able to, you know, yeah. to handle things when I'm not there. Mm-hmm. What if I hit rock bottom? We yes. hit rock bottom all of us. We, we mm-hmm. won't. So at least I'll have someone yeah. who will who will shikilia me kidogo before yeah. I also get back to them. Back up. To my, yeah. to my feet. Because mm-hmm. I remember when now the first uh, business failed, she supported mm-hmm. me to get back to Mm-hmm. To start the f- the, the 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 second one okay. because I was leaving some money with her, mm-hmm. so I save save and I save save. Yeah. So from nowhere I can support. Yeah. So I will say for me I think it's good when b- both partners they are two are better than one. Mm-hmm. They are working yeah. together and everybody is bringing something at yeah. least. Yeah. Know, the table. At least. Yeah. Um, I have a gift for your teens. My name is Flora Kidula and I have two books here for your teens. This is for my beautiful teen girl. This is a book for your teen girls. And this is You're Now a Man. This is a gift for your teen sons. These are great gifts to give to your teens at this time. They talk about different topics, peer pressure, mental health, faith, working hard, finances, and so on. So get a gift to help you disciple your teen daughter or teen son, teen nephew, and whatever teens are around you. Thank you. So is this the reason why you guys decided to separate? Yeah, it became too bad. Now mm-hmm. to an extent now, uh, he constantly kind of got more controlling of my age. He didn't want me to go out with my uh-huh. sister. He just wanted to Was it be- a sister? 
sister friends oh. you know anything <laughs> not just the sister yeah. any other people that you know okay for uh-huh. me it's a group nimekwambia yes. initially when i started uh, the the when i, I got her mm-hmm. i want i was looking for a wife yes and for me now I'm this, i have this idea of a wife. a wife she should be at home at this time <laughs> yes Uh, be with the kids uh-huh. when i come home she's there preparing for me like this me. blah 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 uh-huh. but now when i'm seeing these things and are, are not being done i'm like <laughs> wait a minute so what are we doing here yeah. Yeah. so i started to demand for these mm-hmm. things and i think maybe now what happened uh, the approach i was using to address this uh, yeah. this uh, issues they pushed they pushed her away okay you know? so i was i could check where she is fall on her mm-hmm. go happy and all this and all follow this follow you yeah no. sometimes they, um, they um, like I, I, even I, check my google location you oh know? yeah it was kind of i was now feeling it's a threat to yeah. my life like remember for me i don't want to be with him now because i already feel he doesn't love me he mm-hmm. doesn't want to be with me and now he wants This is the time he wants me more and me I'm mm-hmm. like you know what I don't want this marriage in fact I'm done yeah. I, I think I was done even before we separated oh because now I I'm not seen him as my hubby you know mm-hmm. I'm not seen him as a I'm not getting that to what he's trying to say I should be home and yeah why why can you, you say there's a difference uh, of uh, where we come from mm-hmm. for me I've come from a place where you know there are rules there are things the way they are done mm-hmm. and you know there is a way there is a flow of things yes. i've seen my mom at tom and all this and i've seen like like now that's what i'm living by yes that's your expectation <laughs> and uh, probably marriage. where she has come from mm-hmm. uh she she was grazing herself oh yeah she was this person who had a lot of independence yes. yeah so for me now with that independence mixed with now we are family and she want to be independent yeah, yeah. Know, it became an issue mm-hmm. uh, and i'm feeling now financially so you know what i can take care of myself yes i can uh, go wherever i want i can go yeah when i was young i as i was telling you before i really took care of myself mm-hmm. for a better part of my childhood so mm-hmm. i'm used to making <coughs> rules yes. i'm used to decide where i want to be at this particular time mm-hmm. but now this is marriage you, you cannot just assume that uh, you're going to be anywhere yeah. at any particular time you have to to obey you have to work with mm-hmm. him but for me i was not i couldn't even hear what he was Did, saying were you working with anyone like mentors people who are telling you about marriage oh yeah we actually even did some counseling uh-huh. though we were not in the position to understand to hear mm-hmm. we are not in a position to to receive counsel i don't know we, yeah, we i think what happened mm, we kiburi. got into counseling yeah. go. also we got into counseling when it was <laughs> a bit late oh, oh yeah so when i was looking for actually i, I remember I was the first one who went to a counselor mm-hmm. if a counselor i'm like you know i feel like my marriage is going apart yeah i am doing this this the things are not working out mm. so the first one we talked we went i even paid for the sessions yeah things started to be kind of working mm-hmm. but then again we didn't address the real issue uh-huh. so we fell back to the same mm-hmm. same boat then we got another one but now again now this one again also for her, i think that she quit before hey. we finished the session <laughs> what <laughs> what she, yeah. she even said ah, that can't like no so so mm-hmm. we, we 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 quit yeah, yeah. So, and i think for some point that can't i thought he was siding with him because it was a man ask, no a lady uh-huh. but she could ask me did this guy take care of your family Ah. Yes. Did this guy take care of your child when you got pregnant? Mm-hmm. I was just feeling like she needs more, are not important. Yes, mm-hmm. he's just she's just talking more about him. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, ah, you know what? I <laughs> can't work. <laughs> I think it's I, the right I, time you left and I stopped it and that was it. Take us to the day you now left decided to leave. Yeah, uh, uh, that week we were constantly he was now more into overworked. He is an anxious person. Mm-hmm. So I could see he is so worried he is so he can't sleep he, he, we cannot uh, he is waking up to check my phone and everything mm-hmm. I start feeling this is a threat now like yeah. maybe supposing he stabs me at night supposing huh? all this <laughs> toxic. Yeah, it's yeah, not toxic yeah yeah kind of <laughs> but it's not he's not saying he's not physical yeah. we have never fought mm-hmm. physically but emotionally I don't know what I think what happened uh you know now uh 
I am anxious mm-hmm. and I'm worried. Mm-hmm. Plus, I, I want to control this. I don't mm-hmm. want to lose this yes. family. I don't want to. You know, I really wasn't ready for that. Yeah. The mm-hmm. sweet separation and sweet uh, take a break yeah. or whatever. I wa- didn't want that. Mm-hmm. I wanted to find a way to fix this yeah. without the separation of all these things. Mm-hmm. So I used to be... You know, when we decide, we use, when we argue and we decide, no, going forward, we're going to do this. Mm-hmm. So I used to be like a watchdog. Oh, yeah. I'm like, okay, let me You're see what, what is mm-hmm. going to happen. Mm-hmm. So when I see a slight uh, mm-hmm. sidelining yeah. from what we had talked about, it becomes a big, a big issue. issue. So I'm like, you're going back, you're doing this, mm-hmm. you know, and that and that. So it kakua a bit of, uh, I lost the... I lost I, lo- I lost myself into that. Uh-huh. So Nikakwa very worried and mm-hmm. a bit a insecure. Bit insec- yeah, I, I was insecure actually, <laughs> not a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> insecure. I was very insecure yeah. that period because I was like, I've worked so hard. Mm-hmm. I've uh, mm, I've got this family where I've got it. We started from where we started. Yeah. Now we are here, and now I'm losing this again. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I'm worried. And still, we do see it in the job we are to. Yeah, it's a still... business I'm running, yeah. and I have to keep this thing going yes. while I'm also dealing with this family thing. And and you know, also a parent, a and, father, uh, and I'm also a yes. parent. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to juggle all those things yeah. together. So I, but now my family and uh, the marriage. Any the relationship, mm-hmm. I took them very into heart. Yeah, like they seriously. were very important to mm-hmm. me. I didn't want to lose that. Okay. So I became a bit of controlling. controlling. I don't want, you know. Uh, I told you, I became you know, you a watchdog. Are, you are. Lo- you look like an introvert. I'm not sure. Yeah, I am an introvert. <laughs> and you <laughs> are not introvert. loud. So I'm wondering how ca- how controlling can he be for you to live? For him, <laughs> again, you see, introverts are yeah. very funny people, by the way. You may not notice, you yeah. may not fight or what, yeah. but uh, they, you may not tell what's going on in his mind. Oh, yeah. You might find him, uh, oh, he's just quiet. Oh, yeah, he is shivering, he, he shivers a lot now when he is he's anxious. Yeah, yeah when I'm angry, angry and anxious, oh, I angry. Shake yeah, hey, so he's I will shaking. run. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you wake up at night and you find someone just seated, you know, it's so scary. You know, he'll not beat you. Yeah. But to me, that one, yes. it's more dangerous than... Uh, than the one who talks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this you. one is, why is he not sleeping? I'm, oh, yeah. I just yeah, woke yeah. up and found him. What was he doing? Yeah. Maybe? So I think it, it, introverts, they are. it's very hard for them really to deal with the mm-hmm. issues and or rather even to express themselves, themselves very yeah. well. Mm-hmm. And now if you're cautious enough, you might say, hey, you know what, I don't yeah. want trouble. Let me just uh, yes. walk so away. So how did you leave? No, we told, this is what happened. Yeah. So after after all this counseling, talking, Nini, and still she says she wants to go out. To go out. So I, I, I continued with the counseling. Alone. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alone. I had to. I had to take care of myself because yes. I was losing my. Mm-hmm. You know, I was so worried. Yeah. So I had to still check the counselor mm-hmm. just for my my own yeah, good, and now I can handle this mm-hmm. situation. So uh, I was. Uh, so the counselor told me if she wants to leave, it's okay. Just le- leave her the space to leave. Mm-hmm. Don't fight it. Yeah. Give it space. Yeah, because yeah. he was constantly fighting it. When mm-hmm. I say I want to move out, he was... You can't. Yeah, you can. I mean, why are you leaving? You know, he gets over worried, mm-hmm. you know. So it, it became difficult to leave until maybe this day when this counselor, I think, gave him the yeah, permission yeah. So to allow I, me to leave. I, I, yeah. I, I, so we talked. She, I, told, I told her, so you want to leave? Yes. Mm-hmm. So when are you leaving? Mm-hmm. What are you taking? Yeah. Okay, Nikambia, it's okay. You are free to leave. Whatever you want to do, mm-hmm. just do it. Me, Niko, to help her. Then where and, are we going? And I left. I Alori came, took the seats, took our clothes. And then I remember, because I never wanted to get back to him. Mm-hmm. Totally, you were done. I was For you, done you with done. I was done. You know what? So I can take care of myself. Yeah. Yeah, I can pay my bills. Yes. Yeah, well so I made sure I got an apartment on fifth floor. The same building? The house. No, a different. Uh, uh, we are in a bungalow. So mm-hmm. he, I went to an apartment. Uh-huh. But I wanted to go to the, the highest floor. Yeah, mm-hmm. because I don't want to ever, ever imagine going back to that house. Uh? <laughs> so, me and Lihama, and I end the fifth floor. 
I remember vitu zikipandishwa hivi na kamba you know. Oh yeah. Because now it's too, too far. High, yeah. yeah, because I had planned. Yes, I'm, I'm done out. with this marriage. I don't want to be controlled. I this is five be... years into marriage. Yes. Okay. Five, five, six. It's uh, six. Six years. It's six. Yeah, it's six. five, six. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. So we were not. I was planning that I don't want to ever be back. committed. So to. it's you and your babies. Me and my babies, and now we just to co-parent. We, uh, oh, we could yeah. say you'll be picking the kids during the over the weekends, uh-huh. and for me, I'm with them. I moved near their school so uh-huh. that I could not pay the transport. You know, uh-huh. I'm still smart. <laughs> 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 I don't want to pay. You know, I don't yeah. want to expense myself for mm-hmm. nothing because anyway, I had planned. This is my life. Yes. I don't. I want to be a single mother. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be this thing called marriage. Yeah. Where you are being asked where you are, you should be home by seven. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, uh, I don't want to leave you submit. to submit. Actually, what? she, she, the, I, what remember, is that? I remember, I remember <laughs> there's a time I was going through things in the house, then mm-hmm. I found a notebook, then she has, she has written mm-hmm. why I want to leave <laughs> and, 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 and maybe why I should stay. So I was like, this girl is confused. So she's written, oh, I want to live, I want to be independent, uh, I don't want to be controlled, uh, I don't feel like submitting. Uh-huh. And then at the uh, SV what? The other side of my son, ah, I, I think I love him. I, I think I could just be what? So I looked at that notebook. I said, I think she's going through other things yeah, that I don't, mm-hmm. I don't understand. Mm-hmm. So I, from there, uh, even when I got into a space of allowing her to live, mm-hmm. it was me trying to figure out trying to look for another approach oh, to this yeah. story mm-hmm. so i said maybe just give her that thing yes. you know but in the midst of giving her that thing now uh think and mm-hmm. uh, what is this thing that has been maybe see mm-hmm. yes. there's another way there's mm-hmm. another issue that is in okay. so first forward so to kaka uh, when she left so we are co-parenting mm-hmm. those the, those uh, first days. Nini, mm-hmm. of course, we had this kuvurutana kidogo. Yeah. Maybe for me, I don't want to go check the kids yes. because you know I've been left. So mm. <laughs> you've been left. Yeah. I don't want to see. I don't want to be. What, how old are these kids now? Uh, um, our son is about turn seven, and mm-hmm. our daughter is four. Now. Yes. But during the separation, uh, our daughter was two. Did you this? Discuss with them. Did you tell them what's happening? Um, we we didn't. We really <laughs> didn't. Okay, mostly when we had conflicts, we have never ever had conflicts in four of our kids. Uh-huh. So they have never seen us. They, they but now we are moving with mommy and daddies. Yeah, we just told uh, our son. We just told our son. I think I told our son we are. I'm going to work uh, near oh, their school. school, and daddy will be coming. And daddy will be coming. So but we, now after we moved in, I mm-hmm. mean I moved out, the reality now started hitting to them as well. Yeah, yeah they noticed they, they are not a, they are not they are not a seeing problem. me. Yeah. I'm not there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So this arrangement, when you're meeting maybe the, to see the kids mm-hmm. or to talk, are you talking about coming back? Are you talking about marriage? Mm, no, no, no. You know, remember I'm this Miss Independent, I don't want to show him that uh oh. actually actually for me i'm the one who was trying to find a way to talk about it yeah for me i was to, like to, uh, we are done you know we, we for, finished for me thing. for me a coco but but in my mind i'm like no we are not mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all these things that to my big say then you tell me you are done now yeah. i think there must be something that was wrong yeah actually i used to look at, at her and i'm like she must be sick or something mm-hmm. that is not right because, did you ever think there's another man Ah, uh, of course. There's a time I could feel like uh, e frequency are uh, uh, available. Yeah, it, must it, be someone, there must yes. be someone out there that I don't know. You know, I um, I don't want to stay with him at mm-hmm. this particular time. I just want to be away. I want to show him I'm done. Like, uh, yeah. so I'm constantly not in the house. I yes. don't want to be with him. I don't want to spend time with him. I want to come at my own time like mm-hmm. i want to get into the house not that i am with any other man but i am trying to show him yeah i'm done with with, with uh, this with this mm-hmm. please stop stop this thing you're doing or following me up mm-hmm. and ask me where i am can't you see i'm i'm done i'm done I'm i just gone. want to leave and i think i like saying uh when people get you know start life young mm-hmm. they need to get the proper guidance no oh, yeah and for us we are lucky enough that we we even separate and got back together mm-hmm. we come there but we like saying get people and the right people to work with you mm-hmm. genuinely mm-hmm. i think what was lacking was um 
proper guidance. Yeah. No one cares anyway about mm-hmm. us. We raised ourselves, we yeah. took care of our kids, we are here by our own, we have never been employed. So we really didn't get people to so hold our hands. In charge? The, okay, we used to have people, but you see, it's not really easy to just express. You know, they don't look as problems per se that yeah. they need to be addressed. Mm. They okay. are very internal mm-hmm. yeah, problems yeah. that were supposed to be solved before we actually got here. We are supposed to be prepared mm-hmm. that this is marriage. This is Yes, this is what this is, is expected serious. of a wife. Oh yeah. And a husband. Yes. So yeah. there was no that kind of uh, mm-hmm. uh, preparation. Guidance. So mm-hmm. even now we even don't know that there were problems. Even mm. this time we are separating. We are not technically saying they are problems. It's only that I don't want. I want independence. I want to be alone. I want to be a free woman. I want yeah. to. I don't want to be with a man. With I a want man. To, yes, because again, remember we skipped. Uh, especially now for me as a mm-hmm. girl, I got pregnant early. I remember even when my kids, my boy used to cry and I cry because I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do 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 na, yeah. Yeah. Na take care of <laughs> yeah, yeah, like why yeah. they keep crying? I've never raised a child. I've raised myself yeah. so well, but. A baby, mm-hmm. so totally there is a lot of confusion. There is a mm-hmm. lot of uh, what not immaturity. Immaturity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we always like say, "Ata kama una setwali, don't just use the pigeon." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't so, go so alone. The, the, yeah, don't go the, alone. The, the, the mm-hmm. problem yes. was we were alone. Yeah. Initially we were very alone, and we didn't have the guidance. Yes. And nobody was alikuana to beba. Yes. And, and you were also not even, intentional. Yeah, we were not. Guidance. Yes, we are not. Yes. We are not. Yes. We, were not. Mm-hmm. we were just uh, intentional about eating and, uh, and, 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 and all those things. Yeah. But for us, in the relationship, we didn't work. We didn't do anything for yeah. the relationship. Well, so yeah. when the freedom came, is when now we, we uh, for me, I want to work for the relationship. The relationship. And then for her, it's when she is realizing, to, to like, oh, maybe yes. now I'm a girl. Now <laughs> yeah. I'm a young girl. Now I, I can see. Now yeah. the world is seeing me. Yeah. And I want to, you know. Yeah. Want to be seen. <laughs> that was the. Uh, <laughs> like the way he has been. <laughs> yeah, she wants want to, to be there. Want to be seen. <laughs> yeah. And I'm uh, here uh, wanting to, mm-hmm. you, know, you know, bring her here and, oh, you know, okay. put her in the house. I'm because now we have more time together. There, are, There's no crying baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he wants me more. Yeah. Me na enda sasa. My favorite part how did you get back together after it, these three months? In this period of three months, mm-hmm. the first month was. The separation was so bad for me. Oh. I can say that. I think yeah, both of so, us. Yeah, both of us, it was really, it affected us a yeah. lot. I think I'm a Mimi. Yeah. I, I almost got into depression. Oh. Yeah, I was so stressed. You know, I always and think men rejoice <laughs> and say, ah, finally. <laughs> no, no, no. For she me, you, you, you know, I didn't want that. Oh, I didn't yeah. want the separation. Mm-hmm. And I was not for the breaking of the family. And yeah. I was not for that. Because for me, I believed whatever we are breaking up for it's mm-hmm. an issue oh, this yeah. is something we can solve here and yeah. but for her she was she was she didn't want to solve mm-hmm. anything she just wants out yeah. you know so uh, that's why that's why it affected me mm-hmm. for because i really wanted the relationship i wanted the family i didn't yes. want to lose that mm-hmm. it, it was one of my biggest achievements oh yeah in, in life that period in mm-hmm. life so i have a business and i have a family yes. so you see now uh, when i'm losing this there's a high chance i will lose the other, the other one, one you know also so for me also for me now i was that was the toughest moment of my life and i think i never felt you've, all, what i felt all this time you've portrayed <laughs> yeah. so you see you see that now, you are happily living <laughs> yeah. now the to fifth floor <laughs> mm-hmm. we in remember fact, yeah. Why is it affecting you? Limit me, you know. He's not giving me the go ahead. Yeah. Uh, on the right time. Yes. At the right time. But for me, I wanted to go. But now, when I sep- I, w- I went to that apartment. Yeah. <laughs> now you see the freedom. The reality. The, yes. The tactic is working. All of a sudden, I realized, <laughs> Kumbe, I was in a better place. Uh-huh. You remember, I want independence. Yeah. You remember, I want to not be asked where I am. Mm-hmm. When I moved in this house. I'm not able even to go out because, oh. again, I have these kids. I'm mm-hmm. very attached to my kids. So I don't want to show them that there's a problem between me yes. and the dad. Um, so I'm spending more time with them. Mm-hmm. So again, time me are out. It's not, it's not there. The freedom I wanted, all of a sudden, 
Haiko. Yeah. Remember, I, I said I thought he doesn't love me because yeah. he's not saying you look good. He doesn't say I love you. Yeah, I thought now there's a better man. Maybe mm -hmm. you someone know, else so will so see so this. What was that? He will see this and approve <laughs> this and love this, you know, and say, come, mm -hmm. you are your mind. Yes. Those men are not there now. Ah. Even. They are not. <laughs> you are not seeing anyone saying hi to you at that particular uh -huh. time. You know, like ukitsha toka. You know yeah. when you do something, it's when you realize. You realize their worth. Yeah. So when I I went, dry season. What dry I spell. thought, yeah, it's not coming through. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even when I start dating now because I, this short period now when someone is three months. Yeah, hey. actually what yeah. happened yes. when she now she went to the other house now mm -hmm. she's she having depend. Now I could see the way she's posting. So she went she started to look for new clothes now she uh -huh. wants to change. Yeah, she, I want to show to show you know, people that she wants now uh, to be I'm single. I think now she I'm was single single and, and also yeah. I am doing well yes. as a single mom. Yeah, and, and now <laughs> maybe now she's also wants the validation part, Yes, the validation. The validation. Mm -hmm. But no, I guess it didn't work the way. Oh. So whenever I someone says uh, we uh, we do coffee, you know, yeah. yeah, we meet someone clients. I do some time coaching for mm -hmm. some clients when they say we do coffee. When I talk to other men, mm. uh, I'm not getting anything from them that mm -hmm. I thought. You will get. I will, I will get. You mm -hmm. understand? This saying you look good, it's not enough. This saying you. You, you you're look beautiful. you're beautiful. It's mm -hmm. not enough. This one was not saying those words as I was saying like Haniambini uh, Komrembo. Yeah. But uh, when I went there, the the values, the character, the personality are not matching mm -hmm. mine. So I'm like this one, I can't. So whatever you left for, you didn't find nothing. Zero. Zero zero zero. And now. The difficulty of kind of being a single mom. I'm oh, not used yeah, to it. it's very hard. Remember, this guy used to take care of me mm -hmm. during the pregnancy when I, I couldn't even wash the dishes. Yeah. I couldn't cook. He was saying, you know, take care of the baby, you just relax. Now yes. I'm here doing literally everything. Everything, the kids are on her. Yeah. You know, for me, I get to see the kids in the weekend. weekend. The other time, I'm just alone, I'm free. Mm. So you are the one who got <laughs> so the free the one yeah. who's, who's free than her. Yeah, you know? I was not free. So, at in all. short, you left your marriage for freedom. I left my That is the for reason. Freedom. There's oh, nothing yes. at Ulichapwa. No. There's nothing like infidelity. Not at all. These major reasons we see. No, 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 no. You just wanted your freedom. I just wanted, just wanted didn't to get. be I, alone, I, I, start I life get. alone. I didn't get Tell at all. Tell me you called him and told him you want to go back. Okay, during this time, <laughs> he is trying to win me back. Oh, he, yeah, he's he was so still good, trying. By the way. I think if I always tell my friends mm -hmm. who are not married, if, if they can get such a man, mm. I think the world would to be describe a place. such a man. This man is so loving and so patient. Mm -hmm. If there's a man I've seen, mm -hmm. he doesn't allow pride and ego to really dominate him as oh. much. He is so down to earth in the right way, not in a way that he can be manipulated, but mm -hmm. in a very good way that he can give you time to make your decisions, but you not mistakes. give up on you. Yes, oh. you can make your mistakes, mm -hmm. but. He, he he used to send me articles on personalities. This is why you're having during issues. the break. Oh yeah, during the break, actually, eh, I did that. You went dive. to class. <laughs> no, I, hey, I went to class by the trying to understand. Uh huh. Uh, why? Why was it that uh, when we wanted to, I wanted to to get a solution mm -hmm. to our issue, it is she's getting pushed away. Yeah. Like she's pulling away, Kabisa. Mm -hmm. So I get to understand her personality oh, at that yeah. time. I I got to understand that this this girl. She's an she's an avoidant type of oh, personality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are those people that when they find that you are too close. Mm -hmm. Remember when I told you how to cure now business need me. Yeah. I wasn't. We are not that. Now freedom in your kudza. Now me nataka sasa your closeness. Yes. You know, for me I'm an anxious person mm -hmm. and I want the closeness. Yes. So I'm closing in, closing, closing, closing in. For me, for her she doesn't want that. Yeah, so anataka some a gap space. some space mm -hmm. in between so for me i'm not for me the space i'm treating it like uh like uh, not being liked uh -huh. maybe an rejection. issue rejection maybe yeah, there's yeah. something in between maybe there's a man oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no. so i'm treating like that for, but for her she's an avoidant so she with the more you get close to her the more she, the she, more she, 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 she actually really yeah 
Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I came to understand those personality. I also yeah. came to understand that I'm an avoidant type of a person. Mm-hmm. So, anxious. Uh, anxious, mm-hmm. sorry. Mm-hmm. Anxious. Oh, so yeah. anxious, um, uh, sometimes I can get clingy, a knight of a worried uh-huh. about, you know, small, small things. Nini mm-hmm. overreact. Yeah. You know, for, but for her, she will. Yeah, pull so, away and all those and all those. So this, during this period, he really made me understand yeah. uh, these things. You still had the heart to read what he's sending. Yeah, I could because oh, because you are now stuck <laughs> in the house. Yeah, and, and he could really, he could really tell me why don't you think we should just solve these things? Oh, yeah. Sometimes when he he picks up the kids and he goes to the house. He sends me a photo and says, "You are the only one missing here." Oh, oh that was was like, oh, huh. you don't know. <laughs> Now the world <laughs> yeah. has been trying, especially nowadays on the socials, been trying to twist yeah. the definition of this good man, mm-hmm. calling him a simp. Have you heard the word simp? Mm-hmm. Now I was given a definition. That a simp is someone who does everything, goes overboard to do something to a woman who is not into her. Yeah. But the world is really trying to twist men. Because mm. this is what women want. Yeah, this is what they want. <laughs> But other men are telling them, hey, don't go. No, no, no. I think... Sit here. Don't be a simp. Don't be... So, this is a very good definition of what doing the right thing is. You, you can see, bring see, forth. Yeah, yeah. you mm-hmm. see again, you see the, the, the situation I was in. Uh, I think if it was like a girlfriend, I think yeah. I couldn't have the biggest issue about oh, yes. us. But you mm-hmm. see the place I was, uh, I was a family guy. You're This is my family. I have ki- a kid who's six years old. Yes. I have a kid who's two years old. Mm-hmm. So how can you just wake up and give up on your family like, like now? That. You know, like now that is dead. Yeah. And when you are mm-hmm. looking at the reasons to just break that, yeah. it doesn't add that. Mm-hmm. You see, there were some concrete reasons yes. for that to happen. You see, I, could have, I couldn't even have the heart. I could just let her mm-hmm. do the, everything. Yes. If she wants yeah. to come back. She, but you see, there was no this... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, my, fa- my friends used yeah, to tell me, you, you left because you are loved too much. Nothing oh. else. <laughs> because they couldn't see any, any I, issue. I'm trying to create these problems, you know. Yeah. But they were telling me, you, you just left simply because this guy. And mm-hmm. I think when also you have the right people around yeah. you, even when you're going through a difficult moment, they give you the reality. Even oh, though yes. you don't want to buy it, they subconsciously you. you are taking it. And mm-hmm. it is true, by the way. Wow. I don't think. When I hear stories of women who are in marriage and they are still there when I cannot bear the things, you know, they bear. Yeah, they've gone through. Yes, and now I'm there try, giving them mine and they are like, hey, you are Like we joker. sit on a table. Oh, <laughs> I left because I was beaten. Yeah. I left because of infidelity. Yes. I left because of... And then you say, I left violence. because I wanted my freedom. I'm a, I'm a maybe <laughs> an ambiwa, an ambiwa. Mine is doing this. Yes. Nabado, you has not left. Yeah. But ha, she has left and yes. there was nothing that has you happened. You see, I always, had, oh, yeah. I, I always had a problem when he used to call me, maybe we, we are taking coffee with my cousin mm-hmm. or my sister. And now I'm like, mm, nana yeah. you should wait for Leave me, me alone. Come. And now those people, I'm like, wow. They are like, I think... Imagine they, someone is looking out for you. Yeah, I think they want such kind of a man. Mm-hmm. Who can Because anyway, we have gone dates with married people where you wouldn't hear the... The, the phone, the phone call. Where mm-hmm. are you? You know, for him he is so caring. You saw for me, sick one on easy to sort it during yeah. this time. But now, when during this separation period, yeah, I just now started noticing the good side. Mm-hmm. The good side was more better and yeah. bigger than the, the, the. Those are things we can solve. Now I started now telling myself, mm-hmm. I think these are things we can okay. just so, solve. Yeah, he was so caring. He was so persistent on mm-hmm. making sure that I see what's happening. Uh, he has nurtured me as a father. Mm-hmm. You know, he has been like a father to me. Yeah. Where, you know, a father doesn't give up on their on child. Their child yeah. Who you are could give up on me mm-hmm. because there was, it, it was a problem of immaturity yeah. and uh, lack of knowledge about mm-hmm. this thing. But I think he was more mature yes. to know what exactly is the problem. He guided me through it. He chose to work on his insecurities mm-hmm. and, and controlling this part. I enjoyed this time. <coughs> After three months, we just said, you know no, what? I want the day you went back. The same way you described how you... Nil Alori, Alori came. Alori came. The same I Lori came he was and took you so back. Mad at that time when we, we, I left the house. Yeah. Said, the same Lori came. came. <laughs> did, he, did he come for you? Do you know, he actually helped me more. 
oh. to get back to the house now. Wow. Yeye ndiye alikuwa anafanya kazi uh-huh. nyingi ya kunisaidia in yeah. everything. I can confidently say that I have the best man this life can offer. <laughs> because you mm-hmm. he really really wanted me back yeah and no matter what no matter what you've gone through because i even i had told my parents you know i'm, I'm done. done everyone was aware by the way uh-huh. you, you know we are done and he didn't give up on us he wow. didn't give up he came for us but no, you, you continued the yes, the, and we just chose the mar- what was different now that she has come back what did you intentionally do to make sure you don't go back there uh, for me Remember I now realized the value of yeah. what I was in. This was marriage. Mm-hmm. It was a beautiful marriage. Yes. It was the best mm-hmm. a woman can ever have mm-hmm. in a man. Mm-hmm. I am now aware. Eat and yote siko anajua. You're taking it for granted. I was taking yeah, it for granted yeah, yeah. like kunisumbua. Yeah, and I can leave and find another one. Yes. Yeah, and think. then you leave and yeah. do, and, then, <laughs> and I and I remember yeah. that nonsense of me saying that he is not seeing my dress or anything. Yeah. What really? really you know it was not a, 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 an issue to live <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah it was an issue of uh, being patient and, and communicating yeah. and communicating. we had a problem yeah, yeah, communicating yeah, yeah. Oh, we yeah. didn't we didn't communicate well. communicating your needs yes, our needs mm-hmm. like we, for we are me, not communicating at all sorry like for me you know i had this assumption you know you have not communicated but you, in you, you, you assume, assume mm-hmm. that this person should already that is know your that work. You it, need to you be should know that i I appreciate her. She uh-huh. know that I she automatically, uh, automatically know that yes. she's pretty mm. and she shouldn't wait for me to uh, mm-hmm. you know validate all these things. Wow. So uh lack of communication oh, was yes. uh, was a big That's challenge. That's a big one. Yeah, now we learned that this is what yeah. was going wrong. Mm-hmm. We are not communicating our needs well. Yeah. And uh, I also try to be humble. You, you remember I told you I've been so independent. Yeah. I now learned that you know what you need to step back just mm-hmm. a little bit yeah, yeah. allow him to, to guide lead you, you yeah. I, allow him to lead you now <clears throat> this is you are a wife mm-hmm. remember all this time i'm not seeing myself as a wife you know we are just mm. like partners trying to <laughs> yeah to, <laughs> and your marriage is still life. not official remember oh, yep 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 <laughs> eh? yeah <laughs> remember <laughs> So uh-huh. just say we are not married anyway. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, even if I leave, yeah, we don't need to go to a lawyer to mm. sign anything oh, yeah, because I'm yeah. just leaving yeah. life moves on. Yeah. So everything was so casual kind of mm-hmm. and we are not um, we are not even aware of what we are doing yes. exactly. Uh-huh. But thank we thank God really because he is taken us through that mm-hmm. interesting journey. We akuna we can say we don't have we have not had big challenges mm-hmm. in our marriage only that immaturity and yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. trying to define life in yeah. that particular period which we actually defined in the three months uh-huh. and sometimes uh, we also say sometimes when you are unable to solve these issues with your partner and totally you are unable just follow your heart mm-hmm. i remember first counselor at amani told us if you want to leave just leave mm-hmm. way before i actually left mm. oh, yeah. just take the, that you remember break. the first counsel I told oh. yeah. yeah if you really want to leave before even things became too bad yeah. and too tight she had told us that but we didn't eh? uh-huh. sometimes it's okay it's not dangerous it's not fatal sometimes, sometimes separation yes. can actually work oh yeah it but can really other t- it, i was told Yeah it depends with what you do in that season yes, of oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's not this yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thank god no one saw you <laughs> <laughs> and again now i think uh, deep down mm-hmm. i was in love with him yeah but i was unable to manifest it very well yeah. i was unable to tell actually i'm in love yeah, yeah. <laughs> to express it yeah. to express it yeah. so even when a man comes well, I, don't, i don't like yeah, i don't, the, like, I don't like your character i don't like mm-hmm. whatever yeah. this was the only man who was <laughs> I think maybe yeah, your yeah, box it, yes. it, it, except it, telling you you look beautiful yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's the only box <laughs> Oh, yeah so yeah. i think that period yeah, yeah separation yeah. i think uh, uh, also myself mm-hmm. i came to learn a lot yeah. about maybe now handling these issues mm-hmm. how to talk how to communicate yeah. being patient you know how to just uh, you know treat her better now that is where people should start before getting married yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, actually right? we went yes. back <laughs> uh, actually yes. like for me i uh-huh. went back to learn now Uh, you know f- I, i told you initially i was a very serious guy yes. i didn't have all these girls to learn some things mm-hmm. you know, you know. so i was i went back to learn yeah. i went back to class to learn now 
How should, I, how should I do this? Yeah. How often should I say hi? Way. How should I oh, even yeah. tell that you look good? Yeah. And these and these and all those things. So wow. I had to go back and re- reinvent myself mm-hmm. as now a, a better husband. husband, you know. So, but now for me, I had loved her all the way. Mm-hmm. Even when she was getting angry, she wants mm-hmm. to leave. I had not, my love, wow, I quit Yeah. I was still in love with her. Were you telling her the words, I love you? Uh... No, I, I, didn't. <laughs> I think there was also some ego in between. After yeah. she left, there yeah. was some ego that came in. Uh-huh. I was like, so you have left me. So I've, I've, after all these things, yes. after what we have done, after all, so I also became na, a victim, a victim, yeah. victim mentality. Mm-hmm. Kidogo, I'm the one, you know? I'm the one who's been left. <laughs> yeah, so, uh-huh. but I could talk. We could uh-huh. talk. I could, you know, I started to be easier now. Mm-hmm. After she left, I started to be easier. Okay. But uh, the separation taught us a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, as she has said, sometimes it's not the bad, the worst thing to happen. To do. Mm-hmm. It actually feels like what you do during the separation yeah. is what matters. Mm-hmm. It's not that. The, are you growing? Are you are you mm-hmm. in the separation? Improving yourself. Yeah. yeah. Are you improving, or you want to prove the other person? person. Mm-hmm. So if your your work is to prove the other person, of mm-hmm. course you won't go anywhere. Yeah. But if you go to search yourself mm-hmm. deep down and understand yourself, you came to find out that maybe the things that you are worried about. Yeah. There mm-hmm. were none an issue. And yeah. don't listen and to people because for me yeah. I use I remember Nilikuwa na ambia at me si rudi uko. Yeah. Imagine now when I went back and you know mm. how to niliambia I'm not, yeah, not I'm going, going back. back. And he said mm. so we, know, we know you. <laughs> we know you people. That's you, what you what tell the whole world. Yeah. And some people even write on social media. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's very important even during conflict in marriage or separation yeah. to keep things to yourself. Oh yeah, don't yeah. talk hey, that, actually, that one I learned. <laughs> no. like for me, to be honest, I learned. You I, did say, oh, I, sorry. I, 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 I learned that it's good to keep things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, or have one or two trusted people. Yeah, yes. that you yes. can just speak mm-hmm. to. Sababu, you Don't can talk, talk to emotions. this, you talk to that, yeah. one, you talk to that. Then uh, when now things are back mm-hmm. together, you're you're like, you disappear. Oh, there are people so we've even done interviews <laughs> saying, oh, I'm not going back, that man. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then you go back. They, go back yeah. to, they don't come back to tell us. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. Don't. So the society is left with marriage is bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. We need yes. some people who can come and say it was bad, but yes. we learned, you know, so yes. thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so, yeah. Yeah, so when you do that, mm-hmm. it's good to just keep, keep a it. small circle yeah. and, uh, and go to the right people. Go right to the right people. people. Yeah, For some people, when they will mislead. Mm-hmm. That, I did that. You know, really, yeah. You know? yeah, and if you're married, she left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, married. maybe some guys will tell you, you know, that woman, she, had, she left. Ah. Ah. Once a woman has left you, my friend, yeah. you don't leave go back her. You don't go back to a woman. Again. You yeah. don't go back to a woman who has left you. Left you. Uh. You, 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 you don't. You go yeah. back. You get respect, disrespected more. Yeah. And, so, and and because he, we both come from, you said we all come from Western. Yeah. You will now be told the tribe. We told you. Yeah. 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 Actually, actually the, the tribal mm-hmm. thing comes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, and they will see, tell you. We told you that Kisima. This, that yeah. Kisima will we'll not. That Kikuyu girl. Work. You know, she's mm. now. Uh-huh. You know, I'm a Yeah. Sahi, she is. Uh, you know, that's yeah. why she's behaving this way. Oh. You know. And but if I you didn't. have the right people, and mm-hmm. if you are married, mm-hmm. go to married people. Don't seek yeah, advice from yeah. single. Yeah. Actually, actually, you see, we are young. Yes. Most of, of course, your my friends are single. Most of his guys now at his age actually right now yeah. they are figuring out to, to <laughs> you graduated with a baby on the yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, he is two way ahead of them and also two way ahead of, mm. of my of friends. Your peers, mm. yeah. So whenever I talk about uh, issues of marriage, they're like they're like it's hard to they don't understand. <laughs> they will yeah. say okay, okay with your yeah. things. Yeah. But they won't question you. You yes. see, well, you tell them, ah, she left, you know, them, ah, she left. it's okay. And so, you know, okay, this, yeah. during this time, you, you can say that we were looking for this advice. You know, we want to hear what we want to hear. Yes. So I'm going to a friend, friend who that is, will tell you, good, yeah. 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 yeah, just come, yeah, mm-hmm. it's okay. But now, you need to, those people who are making you feel bad or no you know, to tell you the truth the, the tell reality you, tell you tough love yes tough, tough love mm-hmm. tough and but now at that particular point you don't want them you, yes. you even you don't want them to know that you actually you left, away yeah. because <laughs> yeah just go to the right people <laughs> look for married people uh-huh. mm. for guidance wow. yeah if you're married but you did something recently you now got married oh, you're yeah, newlyweds yeah, yeah, yeah. yes yes yeah. you're 
said after eight years. After eight yeah. years. Yeah. After eight years. <laughs> yes. So after we got back yeah. to Kakaka, then we said. I think now we since now we are serious. Yeah. We want to stay, we want to push this thing further. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not okay to still stay hanging, you mm-hmm. know? Stay hanging like we are still trying again. Yes. Since we have come together, we have decided to do this. Mm-hmm. Now let's now uh, officiate. We yeah. are now mature wedding. enough to wedding. In now. fact, right now I do feel like I am a married my, woman. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I now feel like uh, you know, I'm married. I now feel whoa. You're making your husband very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I embrace marriage yeah. now more seriously. I watch more family, mm-hmm. you know. Eh uh, feel kama tumeanza tena like Oh yeah, you are newlyweds. Yeah, we are newlyweds. Mm-hmm. Now vitu zetu zimekuwa ziki. You went from yes, upside down, you, but yeah. now you mm. you are there. Yeah, there yeah. Yeah. So the making it official means a wedding, yes. a marriage certificate. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. You yes. go to Why the government to ask. You know, Maybe someone is watching and they're like, hey, after eight years, mm. why are you still going back there? To marriage. Mm, to now wedding. Official, to the wedding. Mm. I think for us, we know and we we value relationships and things. Mm-hmm. For example, if at all, we always say, if at all your car has a logbook, if at all yeah. your land has a <laughs> title has deed. This, yeah, this. if at all, when you die, there's a death certificate. certificate. Mm. When a child is born, there there's is a birth, birth certificate. certificate. I mean, why take When your, you graduate, you have a, you've you, got you know, your degree. Everything is certified. Not everything that you're has married. a mm-hmm. document. Yeah. Now, what of these important union, union mm-hmm. you know, the best, you are, you, you're going to spend the better part of your life with this person. Yeah. Make it official, you mm-hmm. know, and for you to be able to. You, I'm actually planning to change my name officially to oh. his name. Now I'm You're fully there. confident. I am mm-hmm. in because I do feel we need to have one family, and also we need to set a good example to yeah. our kids mm-hmm. that uh, don't take uh, relationships and marriage mm-hmm. casually. Because yeah. I think for if we, we are not in love, or rather we are not intentional about making it work, mm-hmm. I think we could have broken up yes. and, and mm-hmm. we keep saying marriages don't work and, mm-hmm. and so on yeah and actually come on nowadays these are this narrative of people really don't want to marry especially young people, yeah. people, don't, like people don't want to mm-hmm. work relationships yes there's there's a lot of noise there's a lot of noise like like uh, you know marriage doesn't work a marriage scam. is a scam actually like men mostly we are told uh, marriage is not for men Mm. Mostly, when you check online, yes, uh, marriage is for the ladies. Mm-hmm. You know, for the man, you're just there to take care of these people, mm. facilitate, nini. But I think uh, without marriages and families, mm-hmm. our societies are easy figure where they have yeah. been. You know, mm-hmm. if yeah. it's not about you, your mom and your dad mm-hmm. coming together, yeah. get yes. Yes. If it's not about my parents and all these people coming together, mm-hmm. get mm-hmm. Plus, this is just noise yeah. in social media out here. There are so many families and marriages that are working. Yes. People who are families, people who are thriving, people who are, you know, mm-hmm. doing, doing things together. Doing family. Yeah. As a family. Mm. And mar- especially family and, you know, being t- that togetherness. It's very, yes. it's very valuable. Mm-hmm. But ukisikiza sana the noise that is going online, mm. you know. Yeah. Uh, okay, something that people may, might ask, why you officiate the marriage? Yeah. yeah. I mean, see all azima. Mm-hmm. So you went the traditional way. Yeah. Uh, you just stay, or rather, since we had separated, maybe what we are they are officiating the wedding because someone is following something. Oh, or, yeah. yeah. But I do think for us, it's <coughs> for a good example to our mm-hmm. kids, and we want to actually show the world that marriage, marriage is works. Work. And even when there is a hitch, yes. you can, there's restoration. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, you yes, can yes. always restore your mm-hmm. marriage. Oh, yeah. And yeah. uh, we do believe families are, I think. Hakuna kitu poa kama marriage. I think mm-hmm. I've experienced. You're happily married. I'm happy I told married. you. I'm happy <laughs> married. Happily married. I'm married I'm people. totally loved. <laughs> yeah. And um, our kids love us. Mm-hmm. Both, both yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. Especially, actually, for me, yeah. I came to realize. Uh, I think the other years I wouldn't sit because they was young. Yeah. But now that they're becoming big and we can have a conversation, conversation and we can yeah. talk and you can see how they are reacting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not something you'll want to break. Mm. Oh, yes. You know, it's not something you want to break. The mm-hmm. way they, they, when you are seated there, all of us, yeah. and then we are talking and they're happy. You know, I'm coming home. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, that is here and all this and mm-hmm. all this. It's not something you want to take mm-hmm. away from yes. them. You know, uh-huh. so uh, I think uh, the biggest issue why people all are afraid of marriage mm-hmm. is because they look at marriage as this thing that is full of flowers. Oh yeah. You know, marriage is not a flowery thing. 
it's gonna be hard. It's That's flowery, fact, you know? but it's it has it's, its biggest yeah. downside. You yeah. know, people are not ready about the downside. Yes, they just want the happy part of mm -hmm. it, but they are not ready to say that. Yes, I'm getting to this thing, but I'm no. I know that in between, yes, things gonna be. Tough. We'll disagree, mm -hmm. and uh, we may disagree. Yeah. You mm -hmm. move out, you'll do all these things, mm -hmm. but what counts is uh, will you be ready to handle those yes. things when or when they come? Uh -huh. Will you be ready to work out yeah. those issues? Mm -hmm. Because I don't think there's any marriage in this world that has been this flawless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, there's none. I'm sure if we look back even on our parents, yes. there's a lot of histories. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe somewhere. My, our dads, our moms, they, they left. Mm -hmm. Maybe things happen, mm. yeah. but but they make they made it work. Yeah. You know? mm. So uh, let's, what was your gope yeah. because of it? You know what you have had, and especially the young couples. Mm -hmm. uh, who people should just take marriage seriously. Mm -hmm. It is the best thing. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to usikwe online, sana TikTok, sana. You can be there, but there's good content. Yeah, there. there's good content. Mm. Do choose the right choose. content for mm -hmm. you that nurture you. Yeah. And we are we want to tell the world that marriage is a beautiful thing. Amen. And people should just stick by and mm -hmm. work on their issues without ego, without mm -hmm. allowing pride mm -hmm. to prevail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They just be humble. Yeah, they work. Yeah. <laughs> Swallow yeah. your pride. Swallow your pride yeah. and yeah. You know, work on your issues. You know, also, another thing people usually forget is that, you know, your wife is not your... I'm not the brother and mm -hmm. she's not my sister and we are not born with her. Yeah. She's coming from a very different background. place. Yeah. The women are from a very different Even those place. who lived in the same plot. Yeah. <laughs> if, 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 actually, oh, yeah. Actually, if, if brothers and sisters, wanna, yes, they, they, they argue and yeah, even they, they don't conflict. speak to each yes. other, yes. Mm, what do you expect? From a person, ulito a si karosi what, and then you come <laughs> from a certain total village totally that we yeah. and then you come together mm -hmm. and you start living. Yes. You love issues. Issues yes. will come up. Issues the way you are brought up, mm -hmm. the way the the and it, all those childhood mm -hmm. things. Because like in our separation, I came to learn a lot about childhood traumas, yeah. things that we were mm. we were to face, mm -hmm. we were to have talked about. You know, all of those things mm -hmm. they that really were affect, affected, they, yeah. they affected yeah. us, you know. Because for me, you know, I think what was affecting me is because I was really taking care of myself when I was yeah. young. So I'm not used to being told, uh, you should be home by You should seven. be home, you should, no rules. No rules. Mm -hmm. I didn't go with rules, by the way. I could mm -hmm. be anywhere at any given time uh -huh. when I was still a baby. Yeah. So now here yeah, I'm an adult. Wait, Why I, really, you telling me? I yeah, took care yeah, of myself yeah. when I was young. Now yeah. you want to tell me? Yeah. So the yeah. biggest, the biggest issue that uh, happens is that people don't work on themselves oh, yes. in my, in relationships. Mm -hmm. Then what, the issues that you have, you, you project them on the other yes. person, and the other person projects their issues on you. It's a blame so, game now. In a, mm. a game of uh, throwing the ball yes. here, and there, here, and there, but you are not ready to face yourself you, mm -hmm. you look at yourself you ask yourself what is my issue yeah what is my part in this mm -hmm. in this uh, what is my contribution yes other than looking at the other person you are not doing this for me you are the one who's not you are the you always do this you mm -hmm. see don't yeah, play victim so, mm. wow yeah. hey, mm. we have to end yeah i didn't want to because i just love uh, restoration stories and to know that there are young people who are enjoying marriage oh, yeah. and working it. Mm. It's hard work, but we can enjoy the work. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So, parting short, maybe you would talk to talk to men who are almost giving up in their marriage. Yeah, so uh, for the men out there, mm -hmm. what I'll say is that uh, you shouldn't give up on your marriages because um, as, as men, initially, we were given these families to mm -hmm. take care of. We were given these responsibilities. Uh, search yourself deep down and ask yourself, maybe what, where are you going wrong yourself? Uh, what, what else can you do uh, to, 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 to keep the, the fire burning? Mm -hmm. just, just go back and, you know, uh, search yourself within yeah. and see who will... Uh, what is this thing that is lacking, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, for the uh, young guys, yes. especially young guys who are getting into relationships, sometimes you may mess up. Uh, maybe things happen, you make uh, some girl pregnant mm -hmm. and all this, that you shouldn't be, that shouldn't be a fear. 
shouldn't that should not drive you to maybe like living uh doing mm-hmm. this take you know, responsibility take, be responsible mm-hmm. you know be responsible some some challenges they don't come to you know to shut you down yeah some challenges they may come to grow you yeah they make you a better person mm-hmm. you know you 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 become more mature mm-hmm. and all this and all this and all this so uh let's not fear to face our challenges mm-hmm. and let's be responsible yeah uh, and and more so for men let's be responsible of our let's take care of ourselves mm-hmm. because so that we don't project our things to our partners yeah, you know yeah, yeah. True. Hey, thank you. The women. Yeah, for me I think um, I, what I can totally say and I always like saying mm-hmm. be intentional about um, your marriage mm-hmm. and about your for me I like being an as I said when I was doing introduction yeah. I love saying I'm an intentional mom. Mm-hmm. I'm an intentional wife. wife. Mm-hmm. Let's be intentional. When you get married and God blesses you with a man. Mm-hmm. Just take care of that family, just take care of those kids. Eh uh, become wait and see where god takes you in this mm-hmm. marriage you are you are there for a reason yeah. and for you are there representing so many generations to oh, come yes. don't give up on your marriage work on your weaknesses we always say when we are solving issues with my hubby we say don't say you did this first say what you did first mm-hmm. you cannot be a victim all the time there's yeah. a part you play and there's a part they play mm-hmm. but first before you say what they did first define what you did yes. first and understand it and be willing to work on it mm-hmm. at least <coughs> you cannot fall from an empty cup mm-hmm. when you are drained when you are not well mentally when you are in terms of judgment on how yeah. you make this the future going to affect so many other people mm-hmm. so be intentional let's be intentional wives and marriages are beautiful and marriages are beautiful thing amen yes Thank you for sharing. That yeah. was refreshing. Mm-hmm. Um and I hope that you've been inspired. What have you learned? What's your comment? What's your question? Let's continue growing together and celebrating the beautiful marriages that God has granted us. And if you are in a bad place in your marriage, God is able to restore you. He has done it. You you've heard what he has done here. So let's keep on working and let's keep on spreading the positive sides of marriage. Oh, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Thank you for being part of the Rodaki Dula show today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.